So today I wanted to make a comparison between Angular and React.js. And so before we get into that, I wanted to clarify, there's some confusion I feel still around AngularJS, which was the original, versus Angular 2.x, which is everything else after that. Around October 2014, Google announced that they were going to completely rewrite AngularJS into 2.0, and it caused a lot of bad reaction. It was actually the main driving force of people adopting React.js. Um, so it was announced in 2014, but it wasn't actually released until September of 2016. So there was quite a large gap in there in which a lot of people, I think partially because they didn't have anything ready right off the bat, it took so long to write and people weren't sure, do I start a new project now with a beta version of Angular or do I write it in Angular 1 knowing I'm just going to have to rewrite it in Angular 2? And that caused a lot of people to move over to React.js. So we're not going to talk about AngularJS today, but we want to make a comparison between React.js and Angular 2.x. So right off the bat, one of the best features, in my opinion, about it is out of the box, it's ready to go. So I, I created a new Angular project here. Now, this is no code whatsoever from me. This is just ng-new creating a new project. So right off the bat, a base project goes so far as to initialize Git and create a basically complete, at this point, Git ignore file for you. So immediately, I don't have to do anything besides start coding. Now we can use the Angular CLI to create a new project, which is what I've done here. It asks for a name, it asks if you want to include routing, what style of CSS, and it's gonna create the entire project for you. So right off the bat, everything is built in for me, from routing to testing, Basically, if, even if I were to create a new component right now, all I have to do is generate that. So right from there, we have our new test component, and built into that is my testing. So I don't have to, again, bring in a third-party library. It's all right here for me, so I can just get right to coding. Now, the other part about this is deployment is also built right into it. From creating the project, to building it, to testing it, to deploying it, I don't need other third-party libraries to get me there. Right out of the box, it has everything I need. This also kind of rolls right into the second reason why I prefer Angular over React.js, is Angular is very opinionated. Now, programmers, a lot of programmers tend to be very independent and independent thinking. They don't want to be told how to do something. A lot of times we want to figure out how we want to do it. We want to figure out what is best that we see. For me, I'm okay with an opinionated framework because I don't want to spend the time figuring out, okay, what's the best routing library for me to use? What's the best state management library for me to use? If you look at it, React has had a lot of problems given that their state management has gone through several iterations, not only from third parties, but the way it's handled within React itself. So it's kind of the wild, wild west of how do I want to do this? Now, the reason I prefer the Angular way is because if I come into a project, I don't need to figure out, okay, this development environment is doing this, this development environment is doing that. If I come into Angular right off the bat, I know 90% of what's going to be there. M they might use third parties, and but they're for edge cases. They're not for core Angular functionality. So for me, once again, that gets me right into the code and not having to sit there and figure out, well, what's the best library here? What's the best library there? I like that it just gives you the tools and then it gets out of your way to let you build your project. Another big key for Angular for me is code separation. So if we look at our test component that we just added here, I can see that I have a page for the HTML and then I have a page for the functionality. Now, if we take a look at say a simple component here from the Angular website, what you have here is a mix of HTML and code in the same file. So if we go to one of their sample projects here and we go to their component libraries, it's all just a bunch of JS files. I don't really know what's what and I don't know what belongs where. If we look at some of their others, we have HTML here, but then we also have our code and our logic in the same page all smashed together in one file. Probably for a large project they do try to separate these out as much as possible but you can't get away from the fact that you have your 
programming logic and your display layer all mingled together. If we look at the Angular project, all of my logic, all of my functionality is right here in my code behind page. And in my HTML page is nothing but display. Now, the most amount of code you're going to see in here is something like an Angular if statement. So if, if I want to show something, or maybe I have a for loop in there. But by and large, aside from if statements and for loops, I'm not going to have any functionality built into the display, into the HTML, whereas here it's all mixed together. So I like the separation of here's the code for this, here's the HTML for this. I don't have to wander and wander around looking for things. Honestly, when I look at a React project, it reminds me of the old PHP days where you would just have display functionality and code. It's where the term spaghetti code came from, was old PHP projects. And you run a real risk with React of having a large project just turn into spaghetti code where you have functionality here and display functionality there and it's all mixed together. Now that doesn't mean you can't write bad code with Angular. You can write bad code with anything, but it has a lot of things in place that help keep things in the right order. Now the final thing, and really one of the best things, and I think even React people will agree to this because you're seeing it more and more included in React, is that TypeScript right from out of the gate was included in this. They really thought about their lessons learned from the original angular.js and they they took all those things and when they put out 2.0 it was a far far superior product it really had to do with the timing and the handling of the release that really caused people to go to react i think that if angular 2 and react had come onto the scene at the same time without the baggage that angular js caused you would have seen in large part the adoption of angular instead of react i heard Ben Odd just recently say writing in JavaScript is like playing development in hard mode. And I probably got that quote kind of wrong. But on a large project, to have strongly typed code in the background is going to, by its nature, eliminate a lot of bugs when you have multiple developers working on something or even the same developer working on something where you create a variable as a string and then don't remember later on and you give it an integer value and your code breaks and you gotta sort through why and how it broke. And simple things like that are just gonna be avoided by using TypeScript. With all the projects you're seeing lately of adding TypeScript to React, I think it's fair to say that a lot of React developers are seeing the benefits of TypeScript, not only in speed up of development time, but also in the reduction of bugs that you're going to get from it. Now, comparing any two frameworks or any two languages is always going to be contentious. These are really just my opinions on it. If you prefer React, that's okay. I know some people prefer to be able to choose their own library and choose their own structure and really make it their own. But in my opinion, Angular is going to make you a more productive developer and most likely put out a better product given equal developers behind it. So if you have any questions, if you disagree, post in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Hope to see you back Monday.